the Zen teachings of Wang Po. I'm going to give you the back. Okay, it's, it's um, on the transmission of mind. This historical text from the direct teaching of the Zen master Wang Po allows the Western reader to gain an understanding of the Zen from the original source, one of the key works in his teachings. It also offers deepening and often startling insights into the rich treasures of Eastern thought. Wang Po, also known as Si Young, is, begin, is believed to have died as late as 850 AD. He is regarded, in a sense, as the founder of the great Lin Chi sect. He lived below the vulture peak on Mount Huang Po in the district of Kaoyan. Like most Zen masters, Guang Po taught in parables, which were delivered as sermons, anecdotes, and dialogues. These have been collected here to present the teachings of the master himself. He compares the mind to the sun traveling across the sky, sending forth light uncontaminated by the finest particle of dust. For those who have discovered the nature of reality, he says, there is nothing old or new, concepts become meaningless, and reason leads to error. Nowhere in the use of paradox in Zen illustrated better than in the teachings of Wang Po, who shows how the experience of intuitive knowledge, which reveals to a man what he really is, cannot be communicated by words. With the help of these paradoxes, beautifully and simply presented in this collection, Wang Po could set his disciples on the right path. It is in this fashion that the Zen master leads his listener into the truth, often by a single phrase designed to destroy his particular demon of ignorance. Many of the dialogues recorded in the Zen teachings of Wang Po took place in public assembly, generally with hundreds of the master's followers in attendance. This text is remarkable on its purity of thought and speech. John Blofeld's translation reflects his deep understanding of Zen and gives it a crystal clear presentation. In addition, there is an introduction and explanatory notes that make this original and revered text even more valuable to the contemporary reader. It's not a very big book. Highly recommended. Why do you want this book? Have you heard of Sudden Enlightenment? Well, if you've heard of it, then maybe you'd like to get it. How are you going to get it? Go to the master, one of the founders. You get, it's, not, it's, it's, it's original. Why well, go to something that's a derivative? Go to something original. Um, it was translated in 1958, so it's in modern English. Uh, I can't recommend it more highly if you're all interested in Sudden Enlightenment.